welcome back to the Renee of Paris channel. I am the alopecia ambassador for the channel, which means I talk about wigs from the perspective of a daily wig wearer and someone that has dealt with hair loss since about the age of two years old. Today's video is going to be a wig 101. So let's say you're brand new to wigs, you know absolutely nothing about them. Maybe you're just starting to lose your hair, or maybe you just want to get into them for fashion purposes because you just like how they look. All of those things are completely fine. Wigs are totally fun for everyone. So this is going to be a crash course going over the basics of the first things you might encounter if you are searching for wigs for the very first time. For every point that I talk about, there's going to be another companion video on our channel talking about it a little bit more in depth, but this will just be the overview of the main points you're going to want to know when looking for a wig for the first time. So the main points I'm going to cover are hair texture, whether you want synthetic, heat friendly synthetic, or human hair, different products you're going to need for each of them, different wig cap constructions, and the benefits of different length wigs, different colors, and all the things like that. So there's a couple of basic questions you're going to want to ask yourself when you're looking for a wig for the first time. The first question is the type of fiber you're going to want, uh, and that depends on whether you want synthetic, heat friendly synthetic, or human hair. There are pros and cons to all of these, and there's actually a whole other video on this topic on the channel as well if you want to hear a little bit more in depth, but I will briefly go over the basics here. So the one major thing is that synthetic wigs are typically a lower price point than human hair. Human hair is great as well because it's going to be exactly like what your hair is for yourself, so it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, you're going to use the same human hair products and things like that. However, with synthetic wigs, for most synthetic wigs, they are not heat friendly, so you don't want to use heating tools on them. But the good thing about that is, first, the lower price point. Second, they always hold their style, which is a really nice pro. Synthetic wigs also come in really fun colors. So if you look at this wig over here, this is the wig Envious in Royal Emeralds from the Orchid Collection. Human hair wigs don't come in colors like this. So you have a lot more variety of colors to choose from, styles to choose from, whereas human hair wigs are fantastic as well. However, they're a little bit more limited with their colors and styles that they offer. This wig right here is a heat friendly synthetic wig, however, so if you do still want to be able to style your wigs, but you want a lower price point or fun colors, heat friendly synthetic wigs are a fantastic option for that as well, because you can still style them with heating tools, but you still get the other perks of having a synthetic wig. So heat friendly synthetic wigs are a really good best of both worlds type of thing. I think it's a common misconception for a lot of people who are brand new to wigs that human hair is automatically better than synthetic. However, synthetic wigs are so amazing these days, and as a daily wig wearer, I have pretty much always worn synthetic for my whole life, for a variety of reasons. And definitely go check out our video on the differences between human hair and synthetic wigs to learn more about the differences there. The next thing you're going to want to know about is different wig cap constructions. There's a wide variety of wig cap constructions, and there are pros and cons to all of them. The most common one you're going to find is probably the basic machine-made cap. One great thing about machine-made caps is that they're typically really durable and they're also typically a lower price point. Then, for a really realistic looking wig cap, I would highly recommend monofilament wig caps. Those are really fantastic because they have a really natural looking hairline. You can change the part however you want and it will still look very natural. So I just switched to my Tatum from the Amour collection. The Amour line is a really great line for people who are dealing with hair loss because they are very, very comfortable on a bald head and they also are very, very realistic looking. So the Tatum does have the monofilament wig cap, and let me show you what that means. When you're wearing a monofilament wig cap, you can actually change the part and it'll always look very natural no matter how you part the hair. So if you look closely, you can see no matter how I move the hair, you can still peek at what looks to be your own scalp. So it just provides a very, very natural looking wig cap so it looks like your own hair growing out of your own head. So with monofilament wig caps, you can really change the part, move it around however you want, and it'll still look really natural. And here's what the inside of a monofilament wig cap looks like. This is actually referred to as double monofilament, which means it has another layer on top so that it's extra smooth on a bald head. So if you are dealing with hair loss, this is really, really comfortable as well. As for the rest of the wig cap, most wig caps tend to have open wefting on the side, so it's very breathable. And most wig caps, especially from the Renee of Paris lines, are all adjustable. So if it feels like it doesn't fit you correctly, just turn your wig inside out and look at the straps on the nape of the neck. You can just adjust them here to make sure it fits your head shape properly. Another thing you're going to encounter when looking at wig caps is something called lace front wigs. Now, lace front means that it has a piece of lace here on the hairline that allows the hairline to look very realistic. So wigs without lace fronts sometimes can have a little bit of a blunt edge. 
For example, Tatum does not have a lace front, but it doesn't matter because it's covered by the bangs anyway, so it still looks very natural. However, if you're wearing a wig where the hairstyle is kind of pushed back, like on the Envious wig, the lace front allows it to look really natural even when the hair is pushed back. So here's an example of how a lace front wig looks like on. So this is how the wig comes normally. Sometimes to make it look even more natural, you can trim this to be closer to your hairline so that it doesn't show at all. But this is how it comes uh, when you get this particular wig. So that just allows you to brush the hair back and it still has that really realistic looking hairline. So with my Envious wig, I probably will trim this lace front just to make it look extra natural. However, I just wanted to show you another example of a lace front wig. This is the Lennox wig from the Renee of Paris line. I haven't done anything to this lace front. This is exactly how it comes. It's pre-trimmed and this one just looks completely natural and seamless. So this is exactly how this wig comes. You don't really have to trim it or anything and it just looks very natural. This wig has a lace front and a lace part. So that really realistic looking hairline extends to the part. And as you can see, that's just totally seamless and extremely natural looking all around. Now, a couple other questions someone might ask themselves if they are looking for a wig for the very first time is how long they want the wig to be, what kind of texture they want it to be, whether they want it to be straight or curly, and another big thing that comes up for someone, especially if they are dealing with hair loss, is whether they want to wear the same wig every day and try to have a pass for their own hair if they're not comfortable talking about their hair loss, or if they're like me and like to switch up the wigs all the time and just have fun trying lots of different styles. Now, I'm very confident talking about my alopecia now and switching up wigs on a regular basis, but I was not always this way. For most of my life, I lost my hair when I was around two years old. For most of my life, um, from the ages of like seven to probably about 19 years old, I kept my alopecia a very tight secret. So I didn't switch my wigs up back in the day. I would just wear one style regularly and try to let it pass for my real hair if anyone ever asked me questions because I was just too nervous to talk about it. So if you're someone that just wants to fly under the radar, just wear one wig and not really tell people it's a wig and just let it pass for your real hair, there are some great options for you as well that will look super realistic and nobody will ever even think twice that it's a wig. So I was introduced to this wig here, which is the Cody from the Amore line when I was about 13 or 14 years old and I wore this same style from that age all the way up until the age of about 18 years old. I wore the exact same style and nobody ever really asked me too many questions about it and it did typically pass for my real hair. Then after that point I decided to switch over to the Tatum from Amore just for a little bit of a change of pace and I think both of these styles are really fantastic, realis realistic looking and very very easy styles because you don't really have to do much to style them. In my personal experience I find that Shorter straight styles are just so easy. You don't really have to think twice about them. You just throw them on and they look realistic no matter what you do. So let me just show you what this Cody looks like on as well. Now these are both synthetic wigs and both of them look very realistic. Some other elements that make these wigs look extra realistic is that they both have the monofilament wig cap, which like I showed you, you can change the part and it looks like your own scalp peeking through. And because they both have either a bang or a side bang like on the Cody, the hairline is concealed. So while lace front is a great option for a realistic looking hairline, Having a bang is just a super easy way to have the hairline covered no matter what. It's going to look realistic no matter what you do to it. So in general, the Amour line from Renee of Paris has some really realistic looking wigs. They're all designed for people with hair loss to be very comfortable on a bald head, and they all just look very realistic with that monofilament wig cap. Then if you are looking to change it up more often, there are so many awesome lines within Renee of Paris like Amour, which is, like I talked about, great for a realistic looking hairstyle. Then there's the Orchid line, which is what the Envious wig is from, which has some really fantastic colors and high fashion styles. There's the Muse line, which also has some really great colors and styles that are more on the affordable end. This wig here is from the Alexander Couture collection, which is very high fashion. This wig also has a really nice monofilament wig cap. This one is called Angela in the color Champagne R. The last thing I'm going to go over in this video is the different types of tools and products you're going to want to pick up if you're buying a wig for the first time. Now this will depend slightly on what type of wig fiber you're getting, whether it's human hair or synthetic. The types of products you're going to use on these two different wig fibers are going to be a bit different, especially when it comes to the products like the shampoos. So if you're getting a synthetic wig, you definitely want to make sure you are using synthetic products on your synthetic wig because human hair products can damage the synthetic fibers over time. So this right here is uh, the shampoo and conditioner from Renee of Paris. Then back here we also have the Protect Holding Spray, which is kind of like a hairspray alternative for synthetic wigs. 
and this is called the Revive Liquid Enhancement. This is a really great option for maintaining the longevity of your wig, so if it's starting to look a little bit older or it's losing its shine, this is something that can help revive it a little bit. This is also fantastic for wavy and curly styles. If the curls or the waves are starting to fall a little bit over time, this can help you perk those right back up. Something else you may want to invest in is a good wig head. So this right here is definitely on the high end of the spectrum. It's definitely not completely necessary to get something like this. A wig head like this is good for display and it's also really great for styling because it has the heavier base. So it helps to keep it weighed down as you are styling on the wig cap. However, for the most part, you can probably do just as well with a styrofoam wig head, it's nice and simple. And there are also some really fantastic travel wig heads like this one. So this is two separate pieces that come apart and they lie completely flat when it's detached. So this is really great for if you need to save a little a bit of space or if you want something that's good for traveling. And last but not least, you also want to make sure you have a good wig brush and a wig comb. You don't want to go and just use any brush. Uh, the wig brush and wig comb are just going to be really good for making sure the fibers don't get damaged. I won't go into too much detail here because Alexander did another great video all about wig brushes and combs on the channel as well, so definitely go watch that for more information. But again, Renee of Paris has a really awesome line of different combs and brushes that you can use to help upkeep your wigs. All right guys, so that was my wig 101 for today. A lot of this might be review for some of you guys that are familiar with wigs, but I hope this video was helpful to you if you are brand new to wigs. Leave any questions you have below and we will get back to you with the answers that you need. And definitely leave any video requests below as well and we'd be happy to make a video on whatever topics you're interested in hearing more about. Be sure to watch other videos on our YouTube channel and our IGTV over on Instagram because we have all sorts of fantastic wig tips and tutorials. And if you are new to wigs, Renee of Paris has all sorts of fantastic lines for everybody. There's the Fair Fashion line, which has really nice human hair wigs. There's the Amour line, which I spoke about, which is really natural looking synthetic wigs. And there's all sorts of fantastic lines for every type of wig wearer. So if you want to stay up to date on our latest videos, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment below which is your favorite tip, or feel free to leave any of your additional tips in the comments below as well. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.